Hey guys, you wanna hear a joke? Gaming hard drives. <laughs> gaming hard drives, what are they? You see, on their surface, gaming hard drives are what's known as an SSHD, or a hard drive with a DRAM cache which is what they really are. They're not really a hard drive and an SSD glued together, which would be an interesting configuration. Why would you want a gaming hard drive? Like not SSD, hard drive. Well, the main answer is cost. You see, while an SSD of two terabytes will cost you probably around 200-ish dollars, a gaming hard drive will usually cost you under $100 for those same two terabytes. Capacity to cost, they are better. Not only that, but the gaming hard drive in general is also designed to, well, run for a bit longer. Uh, hard drives are more reliable than SSDs over the long term, as long as you're not moving them around. Well, that's, that's its own topic. Degradation and storage degradation is its own issue. But usually hard drives are rated for more reads and writes than an SSD. You often do compromise in speed. And so a hard drive can read things about 10 times slower than an SSD. So where does this SSHD or gaming hard drive slot in? That is what I wanted to see when I bought one. And I wasn't too enthusiastic when it came and a pretty nondescript brown box from Western Digital. I actually bought two of them, by the way. I bought a four terabyte version and a two terabyte version, mainly because uh, the two terabyte ended up being on sale or the four terabyte ended up being on sale. But while they did come in an nondescript box, the drive very clearly said gaming hard drive on it. So I knew I at least had the right thing. So I chucked those in my computers and then quickly realized I have no way of actually testing these things. And that's because gaming hard drives have a slightly weird cork to them. You see, while on initial read, they'll end up being about the same speed as a normal hard drive, but subsequent reads will be faster. And there's really no benchmark that actually tests that. In fact, actually uh, running Crystal Disk and 3D Mark's benchmark for hard drives really did not, it did not make me very enthusiastic about this. I thought I actually spent a lot of money on a drive that uh, really wasn't that good. <laughs> but it did get slightly better performance and that's actually due to the fact that this is a 7200 RPM drive where I think uh, 5800 is the standard for most hard drives. So it runs a little bit faster, which means that I can read a little bit faster. And it wasn't until I actually started installing games onto this drive that I actually saw behavior that looked any different than a normal hard drive. I actually tested across an SSD, a hard drive, and this gaming hard drive. And believe it or not, Steam actually has a really good way of benchmarking hard drives in a realistic way, and particularly with this kind of drive. And that's actually its download tool. Believe it or not, you can see everything about your download, your reads, your writes, your internet connection, your everything. And it ends up being a really good representation of how a drive actually performs. For example, on our standard hard drive, we saw a pattern where it would download a lot of data, it would write that data and the download speed would go down and then it would immediately shoot back up as soon as it was done writing. This meant that the drive was a bottleneck in the process of downloading said game, as opposed to the SSD, which had the lines in perfect parallel for the entire process, or close to perfect parallel. This means that the download and the write are happening at the exact same speed, which would be the ideal situation. For our gaming hard drive, I ended up seeing SSD behavior from that download process, which actually gave me some enthusiasm for our gaming results. Now, that being said, while this behavior was actually really impressive, I did need to benchmark these so that we actually had something to actually talk about here. 
So uh, I actually did test across Windows and Linux just in case. And Linux, by the way, has much better tools for hard drive testing than Windows. Just saying, it actually does have a really good set of tools for that. And they're built into the operating system. And I use Pop, by the way. Um, so, <laughs> so Steam download, um, I have this broken down into two different types, and that is the Steam download and the verification of download, which it does immediately after it downloads, which is entirely a read load as where the download process itself is entirely a write load. So on our gaming hard drive, we had a write speed of 108 to 130 megabytes a second. Um, not bad. And we had a read speed of 220 megabytes a second. That's actually not bad when you compare it to a um, regular hard drive, <laughs> which uh, we had 53 to 86 megabytes a second and a read speed of 110 megabytes a second. As you can see, we're getting more than double at times results or straight up double results as opposed to our standard hard drive. And that's because this verification process also can read off of the cache because the cache is already holding the data for the game, which is now being written to the drive. It works as a buffer and it works well. That being said, comparing this to a actual SSD. Now I do wanna mention one thing about an SSD. It also has a cache. And if that cache gets filled up, it does slow down in order to move things to a slower NAN memory. Because of that, we did see a lot of fluctuation actually with the SSD. So on a large download, it got 200 to 300 megabits per second. That's eclipsing even our gaming drive, but it went as low as 80 megabits a second when it hit specific bottlenecks where it had to switch off of its faster NAN to its slower NAN to actually write the game. For our read speeds though, we saw 450 to 500 megabits a second. Absolutely crushing, like absolutely crushing the read speeds of both the gaming hard drive and the normal hard drive. So as we can see, things line up exactly how we think they should. Gaming hard drive, better than normal hard drive, SSD better than gaming hard drive. On Linux, uh, we had an interesting sort of almost reversal at times. Uh, so for some reason, my current uh, distro uh, wasn't as fast for the SSD um, and it ended up actually having higher read speeds. So, so Steam download on the gaming hard drive, we got 150 megabits per second, which is faster and 417 on the verification process. That's actually right up there with the SSD. <laughs> on the SSD, we saw 177 um, megabits per second with 385 uh, for the read speed, which is actually lower than the gaming hard drive. And I think that was just like a Linux thing. For the normal drive, we got 57 megabits per second with 20 megabits per second read speed. So it definitely didn't do very well on Linux with the normal drive, but I hear you. That's, that's just downloading. How does it game? Like, does it improve your gaming performance? The answer is yes, actually. This is one of those weird times where something's advertised for gaming and it kind of makes sense. Believe it or not, gaming is not the end all be all workload. In fact, SSDs are often overkill for gaming. And it's mainly because games don't need to read that much data very quickly. They're actually optimized for hard drives. That being said, there is some leeway and some room for gaming to actually improve. And so that is where the gaming hard drive actually sits. Believe it or not, I can barely tell the difference between the gaming hard drive and the SSD. They are both really bloody fast at loading games. Like I use Skyrim load zones as a perfect example. If a hard drive is loading Skyrim, it looks like it's the slowest thing possible. Like you can read the load screens 
and then the next load screen and the next one. If you've ever gotten to three different tips, you know what I'm talking about. But with the gaming hard drive, I might get halfway through the current tip, unless it's a short one. Like that, that to me is almost too fast because you can't read the, the, the hints. And even more so, that's actually the same as the SSD. It's usually about halfway through or even all the way through one small one. It all depends on the length of it, but digressing, it doesn't have time to refresh. It doesn't change to a new one. And that same thing happens in PSO2, which aside from the first login and load, honestly loads very quickly. It, it seems that there is a pattern with it where the first time you load into something, it takes a little bit, but every subsequent load after that, it's just like done, 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 done. And that to me is good enough performance that I honestly can recommend these things. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually recommend buying these Western Digital Blocks or the Barracuda Firecudas. Like, they work. They work surprisingly well. And while for certain enterprise applications, like moving large amounts of files, you may still want an SSD. I mean, I still am gonna have an SSD for booting in my system because on that first boot, it's super important that it just works. This is like the perfect compromise. So yes, as crazy as it sounds, that gaming hard drives, not a scam, surprisingly. Now, if you were paying full price for them, they'd probably be a scam, but. I've never seen them at that price. So that's where we're gonna end it today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, consider leaving it a like, maybe commenting, subscribing. I make content like this all the time and uh, we've got more coming up actually. So uh, yeah, get subscribed if you're not subscribed and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Wolfie, out. <laughs>